Hey, what's up, going guys? Today I'll be showing you step by step tutorial guide how to add a new user account to Windows 10. The first thing is that first you need to be on your administrator account to add a new user account to Windows 10. Now, let's start. First, go to your start button. Then hit on settings. Then click on accounts. Then click on family and other people. Add, add someone, press, click add someone else to this PC. If you don't have a Microsoft account, just click on, I don't have the sign in person sign in information. Press add a user without a Microsoft account. For this video, I'm going to be naming this Windows. You can enter your password if you want, but I'm not going to enter a password for this video. So next, then you can close your settings. Now go to your start button again. Click on this button, then click sign out, or just click Windows. But this tutorial, I will click sign out. Go up, then go to Windows, your new user account you added, the other person added for you, the one that wants to use a computer. You, now you can click on Windows. And then you can click on sign in or just enter your password. But I'm going to click sign in. It's logging in. It's saying hi. I don't have to cut the clip for this since it will be quick. We're getting everything ready for you. This may take us several minutes. It should be ready right now. It's saying it's going to take several minutes. And now it's saying let's start. And we're done. Yeah. So now we're completely done. I'm just going to put this to a, a box since we're now complete. You Usually you're going to have Katana. If you have an old version of Windows 10, usually you're going to have this Katana icon. But for me, I disable Katana. So I have search windows. I don't know why I have the old Microsoft Edge. But if you do have one, if you already... Install the new Microsoft Edge, press unprint from taskbar, go to the start button, scroll down for the new the newest latest version of Microsoft Edge, right click, press pin to start. Then drag to the pro link, then it will pin to your taskbar. And we're done. Yeah, so this was today's video. I'm going to get rid of the people button, and we're done. Yep, so then if you have Google Chrome, you can pin it to your taskbar now if you want it there. And there we go. I have VirtualBox from my other user account. I have Google Chrome. I have the new Microsoft Edge I installed on my other account. I Adobe's already on the computer. So this was today's video. That's how you can add another user account to Windows 10. But how can we remove the user account from Windows 10? It's pretty easy. If you don't sign out to your, your New Year's account now, if you don't do that, you will. It will not let you sign out, but... Before I sign out, I just wanted to show you something. You could set up your browser right now. It's already signed in for you. Just press sign in to sign. I don't have one, so I'm going to do allow. So no, don't allow. Then click confirm and continue. Click don't allow. 
just close the site for now. Also close the site after you go to the new tab. And yeah, now we set it up Microsoft Edge. Now, if you have Google Chrome on your machine, you could set it up now. Just wait for this to load and then we will set up Google Chrome. I will close this. You can set up your Google Chrome when you're first new. It will first sign in. It will first let you sign into Chrome, get additional features. I don't need an account right now. You can just sign in if you want, but if you don't have one, you can just click I don't have sign in because I don't have an uh, uh, account right now. So I'm going to click don't sign in. You uh, should press set as default, but nah, I'm going to click skip. Click got it or settings. And yeah, there we go. If you see this error area, come to your dinner. click this button, then press remove from Chrome. There you go. How are we going to remove a user account from Windows 10 right now? How are we going to do that? There's actually a way. It's super easy. You can actually get rid of it in one minute. You can get rid of the user account in one minute. If you don't need a user account anymore, if you want to get rid of it, it's pretty easy. Go to before you can get rid of it. You would before it would let you get rid of it. They want Microsoft wants you to sign out. If you don't sign out right now, then it won't delete your account. So. First, go to the start button, click, then go here, press sign out. But if you don't have your password to enter your another user account, if it, if they don't want to do it for you, you just, I would just rather you can go down here, then you can just click restart and now automatically um, sign out of everything. But I'm not going to restart because I don't need that. This is just a tutorial. So click sign out. It will close. Then you should go to your M go to your administrator. I see that Windows 11 logo. Then enter your password or just click sign in. Then press return key. Now, how are we going to get rid of it? So now go to the start button again. Go to the settings icon, then click on accounts again. Go to family and the other people, then click on windows, then press remove. Press delete an account and data. If if you if if they if they if people got in trouble from using their computer, if this is not your computer, I recommend you get a, uh, your own user account. But, um, uh, 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 and then, um, yeah, then we just click delete account and data. If you got in trouble, if they don't want you using their computer anymore, then they will delete your, uh, old user account. But you recommend you save your stuff before you remove them. So, because I don't need it, so I'm going to click, so click delete account and data. If, if the person doesn't need that account. So click, it will Remove the account right now. Now, if you go to the start button, and now if you go here, there is no more user account shown. It's just only changing off settings, lock, sign out. And yeah, there we go. You are, we are done. This is how you can add a new user account to Windows 10. I hope you watched this video. I hope you did good. Like and subscribe and See you guys next time. See you soon. Bye-bye. And peace out.